Hello, and welcome to another episode of Building This City. This is Soap the Great here. We are on episode number 10. Now, that means that I have been doing this now for five weeks straight. So uh, we're going to talk about that. It's two episodes a week. And uh, anyway, we're going to talk about this channel a little bit today. But uh, in the meantime, or actually before I get into that, I'd like to tell you what I'm working on today. Alright, we are at the Spider XP farm. I think I showed you this. It was a few episodes ago. Um, but it is not currently on. In fact, I wouldn't even let stuff in. There we go. Um, and when we were here last time, I had mentioned the possibility of creating an AFK or away from keyboard room. And um, I saw some of the issues with that, and I had almost convinced myself that I did not want to put one in um, and didn't want to spend time on it. But then, um, well, I started doing some mining, and I started, uh, well, I found some diamonds. And then I made a diamond pick, and uh, you know those go a lot further if you put enchantments on them. And uh, so I found that I was actually using this thing, and so I decided, you know what? Let's put in some, at least put in the AFK room. So we've got that here, and well, I'm having some issues there. All right this is pretty simple and this is not very full featured uh, the main thing is just to keep anything that might spawn out there from coming in and messing with you in case zombies come in uh, they can't knock down the door and then occasionally we get spider jockeys and they might glitch out and we wouldn't want them to cause issues so you can get in here and this spawner will still put out spiders if you're in here because you're within the range I think it's uh, 16 blocks but uh, because a lot of the circuitry is behind these blocks right here in this wall I, I can't do much else and I found that I was going back and forth between main base and this XP farm and it was just getting annoying and uh, so I decided you know what let's put in some of those nice things and, and um, hopefully it'll help us out so so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put in those nice things see I've already put in the AFK room um, and it could stand to get dressed up some but um, I, I don't I don't uh, want to spend too much time on that because I'm not really sure what I would want to do. So in the meantime, I have reworked some of these uh, tunnels. It, you used to have to go through a whole rabbit's nest of uh, a rat's nest of tunnels to get back to the main outpost, and instead I've rerouted it this way. So you go back through here and it's a little bit easier to get to um, and that gives us a little bit more room in here um, so oops now you see that I have smooth stone and um, there is a reason for that I have been mining down under this ravine mining and caving I've come up with a bunch of cobblestone as you might be able to imagine and um, so what I've been doing is smelting it. Nice. I love the rain. No, not really. Uh, let's see. It may be. I wonder if it's nighttime. Oh, and I had a bed down in the mine and I left it down there. So we'll just deal with that for now. Let's see. minimal that way at least we won't hear it of course we won't be able to see anything else either so 
there is a bit of a downside to that. All right, so I've got all this smooth stone that I've put together and uh, made it auto smelter. So I just go find some lava, fill it up, and it's been chugging away at uh, a little over a double chest full of cobblestone. Um, and I'm actually going to be using it for an upcoming project that I may or may not share on camera. I don't know. You know what? I've got this thing. Let's see how much is left. 282. This will make quick work. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why I want some of these nice things around here. Ooh. You know what? Uh, that's going to get replaced anyway. Yeah, so... I'm going to be putting in an enchantment table and a brewing stand because the brewing stand makes life a lot easier when your well, potions make things a lot easier when you've got oh, 160, 170 spiders. So we've got some splash potions of damage or of harming that works on spiders. Does not work on skeletons or zombies because they are classified as undead. So you have to use, oddly enough, splash potions of healing. Which threw me for a loop when I first heard about that. But I guess it makes sense somewhat. So, for now, we're going to be going with uh, stone brick. Um, and I've got some other bricks in here, but for now, we'll just go with this. It's pretty easy to do. And uh, pretty easy to make. So, that's what we're doing. We're, you're going to see me put in all this stuff. Uh, now, you may notice there's a bit of lag, and um, one of the reasons is that we are having some issues with our server. Um, I'm not going to tell you the company name we're using because it could just be a fluke of the plan that we have chosen, so I'm not going to blame them for it, um, but we are looking at other servers because we found some that are recommended by other members of the mind, Minecraft community. So, we will probably be switching servers here soon. But I wanted to get this episode in before we pulled the trigger on that. What are we going to do there? What do you think? We'll just make it even with this wall. So, you know, if you like this stuff, let me know in the comments. If you would prefer that I left some of this boring stuff out, also let me know in the comments. Uh, I would appreciate feedback. I'd like to know what you might want to watch. Um, let's see. Now, <coughs> so while we are taking care of this, we will uh, talk about the channel a little bit. Um, so what I've been trying to do is two episodes a week. Um, if you are if you're pretty observant, you will see that they've been coming out on Mondays and Thursdays, and it's not near building supplies in here. And um, Anyway, I think that, that schedule works fairly well. Um, but one of the things that you don't see is caving and mining. And I told you at the beginning that I probably would not do that on camera. Um, and, and I probably still won't. Caving uh, requires a bit more of my concentration. Um, I get fairly, uh, fairly intense. Uh, when I'm down there, um, it's not a very pretty sight, but I'm just watching for 
creepers and skeletons and all the nasty stuff that comes out. Ah, uh, you know what? I did not want to do that. Right there. Because um, I'm going to put the enchanting table into the corner and that will hide some of the smooth stone. You see that lag? You know, I've complained. I was complaining about it while I was building the fishing hut, but it's really gotten bad. Um, just to let you know, one of the picks that I have managed to procure is an unbreaking efficiency silk touch, and uh, I've been using that. As you can see, as I go back and forth to that chest there, um, it comes in really handy when you're caving, at least for the the drops that uh, would normally split into individual pieces like coal, diamonds, emeralds, redstone, and lapis, right? Um, so uh, what I've been doing is I've pick, been picking that up. Uh, you see, and, and this diamond pick that I'm using right now is pretty efficient, so sometimes I don't catch it before it hits one of the blocks, and that's why you see those. But you see that? So I'm just picking those up. And I've got, actually you saw me enchant it uh, when I was doing the the tour, I believe. It's Unbreaking Efficient Fortune, Fortune 3. Very useful. So what I do is I take this all back to the main base, and I lay it out, and I take that Fortune 3 pick to it, and it's been pretty productive. So um, I've just been going back and forth with that. Now, uh, let me lay these in while uh, new one there, there. Okay, and the enchanting table needs to go right there. Right? So we can go out to there. Now, the, the way the enchanting table works is... Um, Normally it's got just a, a certain amount. Now I'm not going to put any in chance unless I accidentally click. So right now it's max is 14. And that is because I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so each of these bookshelves gives an extra two possible levels for this. Let's get some light in here. Um, for this enchanting table. Um, so what you want to do is you want to load it up to the maximum. And the maximum is actually 30. That would be 15. And it can only go too high, which means... How about right there? What does that do? We'll go, yeah, it'll go up to 30. You see that right there? Now it's not letting me because as you can see I've only got seven levels okay um, and I really don't care to enchant a stone pick as it is um, you know there are some people that do that I am not one of them I'll just use a stone pick use it up and uh, and go on about my business alright so that's in okay stuck in the corner I could have put one right there you know what, let's do that. Get a little symmetry going. Get up. Nice. Uh, okay, I got six there. So it takes it and just gives me books. Okay, so things are slowing down a little bit. Frame rate's going, it's hanging around 30. Um, yeah, so we're, we're having some issues. So bear with me if it seems a little, uh, a little unbearable. Don't don't worry. Um, probably within the next week or so, we're going to be on a new server. Um, and I've seen some of the other places that are being run on that server, and um, it, it's kind of nice. Uh, they've they've got some pretty uh, high usage clients, so. 
they should be able to handle us. We have four user, four active users, one intermittent user, and it's a private whitelisted thing. We don't we don't have applications. It's primarily just for coworkers where I am employed, and um, and that's it. <coughs> Sorry for that. So anyway, um, now let me. Uh, Let's chat about the channel a little bit more. Um, so this two times a week schedule has been working really well. Um, it's a bit hectic sometimes because this one um, I'm doing a little later than I would normally want to. I like getting things done with early. I was one of those annoying kids in school that would get started on projects like the day they were assigned. I wouldn't always finish them till till late, but I would at least get a start on them. So, we got the same thing here. I, I generally record on Mondays. Um, and sometimes I'll record two episodes, depending on how extensive it is. And, um, and then prep them. Um, some of them require a little bit more processing than others. After the fact. And then if I figure out how to do audio through Audacity while also recording and not having issues with syncing the two feeds then um, that'll take a little bit more time and I think the audio quality will be a lot better so um, but for now we just stick with Mondays and and occasionally ooh, ooh. what's down there Okay, some of the redstone for the crushers. That's fine. I'll fill that in. I don't technically need to, but um, I do prefer that to be the case. All right, so so here we go. We've got the enchanting table in. Uh, next up, uh, let's do an anvil. We've got. Though, no, here's the anvil stuff. See, I've been getting a bunch of iron and gold, and uh, anyway, it's it's been very productive. So I've been doing that um, pretty much for the past week, just down in that mine, and uh, in lots of diamonds, lots of lots of redstone, uh, lots of coal. That's just a great noise. We'll see if we want to keep it there. That's fine for now. So we've got this. So if you got some tools, go get your levels. Throw the enchant on there, or um, you need to repair it, kind of like I do with this guy. It's at uh, 231. It's going to need to be repaired soon. I can't do it right now because I don't have diamonds and I'm not going to be hitting those until I get the fortune 3 pick out um, so for now I will probably just repair it back at the main compound um, but I did want to get this set up for future times because that again like I said that mine has been pretty productive and I want to keep keep going down there so um, anyway so when I'm not recording, I'm going to be doing the, this grindy stuff, caving and mining and, um, you know, just gathering resources and whatever else needs to be done so that I can have stuff lined up for the projects that I want to do on camera. Uh, excuse me again. <coughs> Take a drink of water here. All right now um, and then we've got a few other things coming down the pipe here I want to put in an iron farm um, I've seen those are the structure is easy to build getting the villagers in there is a bit more difficult um, I may I may do parts of that on camera um, and then parts of it I'll just skip through so uh, I don't stretch it out I don't want to make a mini series out of it or anything um, and then, you know, with that, that'll be a community build. 
we've got this as a community build. Um, it's you know, a few of the guys have used it. Uh, we do have a blaze spawner up in the nether, or down in the nether, I should say, um, that's getting some use, and uh, that gives a little bit more XP, but if you just don't care to go down there, um, you can come back here and use this. So we've got that. Let's see what else. Nether wart farm gates to uh, get out and about. So I've, I've done a lot of stuff around the community, a lot of building the city, if you will. And, uh, you know, I'm getting kind of restless, so we're going to be moving out. Um, not permanently, just get, uh, just go out, find a, a base. I've got in mind a place I would like to go. Um, one of the things that we do is we have a, we use Tectonicus, which is mapping software. Um, and we run our world map through it. There we go. Um, and yeah, so we'll just do one there. Um, we run the world through it, and um, so there's been a lot of exploration that has that we've done, um, extended the borders, and uh, looking on that map, I found a place I'd like to go. Um, it's far enough away from civilization where I'll have some room to get out and and uh, work on some some various projects. Um, so anyway, um, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't know when Iron Farm may be first. So anyway, now we've got this brewing stand, um, and the thing is that we need to be able to brew more of these splash potions of farming. See, I've got. 11 right there. Um, every time you you run up enough to get to 30, you got to use one of those things. So I want to leave a brewing stand here, and then we're going to put in some farms for the various things that uh, you need for brewing splash potions of harming. And so that's going to require, let's get rid of some of this junk here. Uh, we may come back to that. <coughs> so we'll need a mushroom farm. We'll need another wart farm that requires soul sand. We need a reed or sugar cane farm. And uh, we need spider eyes, which works out great because this is a spider farm. Um, and so I'll show you where those spider eyes are. And we'll bring some up and leave them in that chest. But for now, I need to build the um, the farm areas. And so what we've got here, we need uh, reeds get can get up to four tall. Is it four tall? I can't remember. So we're gonna knock that out. Um, let's see. Is that enough? Yes. So the way these, the way reeds work is they have to be on or surrounding one block of water. So you can't do like with wheat, where you, uh, you know what? I needed some dirt. Knew I needed that for something. Do I have any more? No more dirt. How do you not have dirt? Well, anyway. Got some right here. Alright. Oh, give me that dirt. Okay, thank you. So there we go. not what I wanted to do. But thankfully I've got an infinite water source right there and there we go. Now, got 
So that will grow. And next up, okay, so we're not thinking about efficiency so much here. Um, we need a little bit of light. Ooh, hey. The main thing is, let's just get these ingredients down so that... You see that? Tail lag? Look at that. Just amazing. Amazing. And not in a good way. So we've got light and we got soul sand. There we go. And next up is the mushroom farm. Now we have not actually done one of these before. Um, they're a little bit freaky because they have to be in a low light situation. Fairly low light. So, what I'm going to do, get that, there we go, no, you know what, I wanted to keep those, and we'll see, now this may not work. What's the block light here? We're at 12. I think, I, you know what? I don't think that is. Is it still 12? No, oh, we're at 11. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to check the wiki on that just to see. Um, but we'll spread these out anyway. Right, okay, so you should be able to access it. So I don't know. We'll 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 see. Um, hopefully that'll work. So anyway, we've got a reed farm. We've got nether wart and we've got mushrooms. And we'll just throw those out there. So so we're good actually. Let me I need to show you how to do the splash potion of harming anyway. Uh, do I have any extra nether wart? I may not well we'll we'll just do this. Okay. We'll take one and that's gonna grow and give me more than more than uh two. You know what, I think we are going much longer than normal today. Let me go down and get need a couple of spider eyes. You know what, we'll just keep all of them. If you don't mind, you know, just let me know. Um, I need some glass. Got three. We need glass bottles. And we'll need, you know, while we're here. No, no, that's got to be sugar. And then a spider eye, and then a mushroom. So you get a fermented spider eye. So let's go get some water. That's another reason why we have the infinite water source. Okay. scary noises. 
Yeah, we are at 30 minutes now. That's a bit long. Um, well, let me just show you this potion real quick. The ingredients are first you do the nether wart. That makes an awkward potion, and that's the base for most potions. Um, if you want a potion of weakness, then you, uh, you start with anything other than another wart. Alright, and then you throw in a spider eye. That's going to make a potion of poison, I believe. <coughs> there we go, the awkward potion there, no effects. Alright, potion of poison, okay. Then we're going to put in the fermented spider eye. And that's going to make the potion of harming. And then we need to make it a splash potion. And so we use gunpowder for that. Alright, and that's done. Potion of harming, and boom. Now this is going to make it a splash potion. We'll be ready to go, and then maybe in a future episode I can show you um, using these on the spiders. But uh, for now, I'm going to call it an episode. Alright, this is an episode. You like that? Isn't that great? A bit sarcastic sometimes. Anyway, um, that is it for now. Ooh, thunderstorm. And, um,. Anyway, if you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, and you YouTube will let you know. You can also get notifications sent to you uh, with subscriptions. Um, but as I've been trying to do, um, Mondays and Thursdays, and uh, you know, check back and. Anyway, I will see y'all next episode. Bye-bye.